Hi, Luis here again with another market update. We already in August, the year is flying by. So let's see what the month of August had for us in real estate today. So for one, I wanna like I wanna talk to you guys about these videos. I put them together just to give information. I believe knowledge is power. When you're looking to buy real estate, you're looking to sell real estate, or you're own real estate already, it's important to know what's the, what the market is doing. And that's what these videos are for. Uh, so if it, even if you buy now, in the later in the future, you ever consider it, it's good to be informed. And that's what these videos are for. So I hope you enjoy them. If you do, don't forget to like and follow so you can keep uh, get alerts when these come out. But then let's start off with the stats for August. So the market is, I think we, I could call it a little bit normalizing. It's normalizing a bit. So the medium price point for El Paso has been pretty pretty stable for the last few months. It's about $240,000 medium price point in El Paso. It's still higher than it was years past. It's a healthy number. And then what makes it even healthier is that it's been pretty flat. It hasn't gone up. It hasn't jumped up month after month like you did for a while. So it's, it's a consistent number. That means prices are not shooting up. And to all of you that think the market is crashing, it hasn't dipped. So it's, it's a very consistent number. I believe it's a healthy number for the medium price point in El Paso. Uh, secondly, the number we want to cover is closed sales. So there is a, supposed to be a smart a market slowdown and such, but the closed sales have actually risen. We're at about 877 closed sales for the month of August. So that is um, th that's a good number. That means it's going up. It's not a crazy number. It's uh, like again, it's something that seems to me healthy, right? And then inventory is down. So sometimes people say, "Oh, inventory is down. People are not selling." It's not really that. I think, like I mentioned earlier, it's a normalized market. It's August, September, that's when schools uh, go back in session. Kids are going back to school. People are, are kind of settling in, trying to get the routine. And in years past, and it's normal for the market to slow down the few weeks heading to back to school and the few weeks after that. So that's what I'm seeing is pretty normal. I mean, people are still buying, people are still selling, but it's it's not crashing like people believe. It's a very healthy process for the market. So it's a slowdown. Uh, what I see in, in the past, in other years, is also after that, after people are settled in, like late September, early October, the market kind of picks up a bit again. Not as much as the spring and the summer, but the market does pick up a bit and, and more sales and activity starts to happen. Uh, days on market is also up. Uh, my my reasoning behind this and what I've looked in the market is a lot of homes go active and then they fall off the market. The they offers get canceled. Or I, I see it as far as sellers are going, people are still expecting there to be a, a ton of offers and 20, 30 offers coming in and they're not and they're kind of waiting and expecting for that to come through and it's not. So they're, they, they, they're taking a little longer to decide which offer to take or not. And the same thing as buyers go there, there, there's more options for buyers. So people are, okay, well, I don't wanna jump and make an offer here. Let me think about it. Let's look at some other homes before we, we, we go forward with that. So that's my, my reasoning behind the fact that days on market is going up a little bit. It's not, like I said, it's not crazy. It's not out of this world. Homes are still selling pretty fast, uh, but it's, it's just a little healthier that they're taking a little bit longer to sell. Um, also, price uh, median price per square foot. That's about $140 a square foot average. Uh, this is like my favorite stat, the price per square foot. So that's medium. I've seen uh, our price per square foot on Paso has increased quite a bit in the last few years. So, but this one is uh, it's pretty average for El Paso. It's, it's, a, it's a good number again. It's pretty stable from previous months. There wasn't a lot of change. And then and something that uh, also uh, is, is people start thinking about it too much or we're reading into it is new listings. So new listings are down. Uh, what that means is same thing, the market slowed down. So people are not as active. They're holding off on buying and selling a little bit or taking a little bit more time. So it's normal for the listings to drop, like going back to that school in session. So then people are like, let's not list the house this weekend or this month, let's wait a little bit longer. That's what we're seeing and that's where the market is, that the new listings are dropped a little bit. Overall, what I see is the market is very healthy, very stable. I know people are scared about interest rates and things. So I wanna add that to this video is, you know, like you're not, you're not buying an interest rate. You're not married to the interest rate. Interest rates go up and down. Uh, prices are continuing to go up. What I advise people is lock in the prices for today. 
get the house that's suitable for you, a house you and your family could afford. The interest rate is, is important, but it's secondary. Worry more about that monthly payment, if it's something you could afford or you could feel comfortable with. Uh, what I, I do tell people is stretch it a little bit more than your comfort zone because in the, in the future, you could always refinance to a lower rate, but you, can't all, you can never refinance to a lower price on that house. So don't let the interest rate scare you. That's just a little bonus for today's market update. And uh, again, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one.